we're going to learn how to change a uh, tire. I have my bicycle here and it has the Continental Touring Plus tires. They're about three years old and I just started getting flat tires because they're totally worn out. And so I have a new tire here and I'm going to show you how to quickly take that off and replace that tire. So first thing I'm going to do is snap the quick release and oh, I have to release my brake up here by squishing it together and popping it out. So I release my tire and it comes right out. And I have my newspaper bag from this morning to grab the chain so that I don't get my hand greasy. So I'm going to just, it's propped there on the kickstand in the wall and I won't need that now. So I'm going to let a little air out of the tire so that I can easily, and this is a Presta valve, so it needs to be unscrewed, and we'll just release the air so that it's easier to work this off. There's not very many tools that are required to remove your tire from a wheel. I have these two tire irons, that's all you need. And so, pop one in, and Here's the tire iron, what they look like. Jesus. And I'm going to just try to grip it, but you've got to be careful you don't pinch the tube. I'm not planning on replacing the tube. I'm going to be using the same one. So down a little bit farther, pop it out. You only need to pop one edge at this point. And so then you should be able to run your finger under here. And if you're confident you're on the tube, you can run your tire iron around here around the edge and you've loosened it out. The hardest part will be right around the stem. So then you flip the tire around and pop the whole thing off. Oh, it helps to remove the tube from the hole. There. So now you just take the new tire, put one edge around, you should be able to do this by hand without any tools. Hopefully the tire is the right size. This one looks a little... And you can check your original specifications of your tire and you'll know what it's required. Or check your old tire, it's written on the sidewall. Let's see, it's hard to tell here, but this does say what it is. So you find your tube, your old tube, and put it in the hole for the tube. And tuck it in. And make sure it's not twisted, because it won't fill up with air correctly. And just kind of feed it into here, making sure that it's over the edge and not twisted or bundled up. And you can do that without any tools again. This is a very easy job without tools. So now I have the tube all the way in. And what I do is take the extra ring that comes with the tire, the tube, and I put it on the outside and the inside so that it doesn't get pulled inside during this. So then a, find a spot like across from the filling nipple and just start pulling it in. If you can do this without tools, it's best. It'll be a little hard because this tire is brand new. It's very green. And so now I've got both edges of the new tire 
in the wheel. It's going to get tougher as you get to the end. And you may need your tire iron to help you push this in. And it's going to be risky. You can pop a tube this way. I've done it. And I don't want to do it again. So I try to not use any tools. Because that's but make sure you're not pinching your tube by pushing it in with your fingernails and then pulling back towards you. I'm almost have this much space left. Don't leave the spark part by the inner tube nipple to last because that's got the space taken up by the nipple. Okay, this is new. I think I'm going to need to go ahead and use my tool. So I take my tire iron, the flat end, and I'm just going to work it over the edge. A little bit on each side. It does have a little curve, so take the curve so that you can get to the edge and it will slide over. Only take a small portion, like an inch or two, and it's easier. Okay, down to the last six inches here. It's getting tough. more times and this tube should be, tire should be on. If you have someone to help you, you could bolt pull on it. There, it went. Okay, so then you take your pump and I have this cool one that has a double Presta and a Schrader valve. And these are Presta valves. So I'll put it on. Hopefully I didn't pinch it. And I'll fill it right up. So, when we just check around, make sure there's no tube sticking out, that there's equal distance of black under the reflective. Bounce it around. Do this the day before you need it. And uh, so, you, if you did get a flat, you can tell. Don't do it like right before you're getting on your bike and riding because it might be flat. But I think I did good, so that's it. How to replace a tire on a bike.